The owners and charterers of ships stuck at the Suez Canal for nearly a week are counting the costs. Up to 400 ships face at least $36 million in expenses that they won't be able to recoup. That will hit earnings and the losses aren't covered by insurance. Ships have various types of insurance. The protection and indemnity policy protects against pollution and injuries. And separate hull and machinery policies cover vessels against physical damage. What's worse is costs could increase as the ships make their way down the canal. Another group is assessing the damage to reinsurers, good faith losses totaling hundreds of millions of dollars. A reinsurance claims will include damage to the Ever Given and the canal. It will also include dredging costs. Shipping rates for oil tankers have nearly doubled since after the ship ran aground. And global supply chains have also been severely disrupted. An analyst tells us how the backlog of ships could affect the average consumer. Consumer, you know, it does pay a, um, a price uh, here and there immediately reflected in the, in the, in the, um, a hike of uh, prices and uh, and the freight. Um, the the, the short term incident, short term impact may may be limited, but it's not over yet. Uh, it will be reflected in in the coming weeks and months. Um, it, it, it is uh, the, the impact is uh, it will be felt along with the uh, increase in demand globally. Oil price spiked uh, on the very day of the of the incident. I, I would say, luckily, uh, this is time that uh, a global demand is not at the, at the height. We, we have weak demand, particularly in the fourth quarter of this year. And this weak demand will continue into April uh, next month. So for, on this background, we, we have adequate oil supply. So that's a, that's a good thing about uh, the market. Uh, the market does affect everyday uh, shipment of the uh, um, of, of the oil market. So if it lasts uh, longer than a week that we have seen now, the impact will be will be huge. But the impact will, is already here because moving towards May and June, July, demand will will uh, jump in in a big deal. And we are we are looking, even without in this incident. We are seeing higher oil prices coming in the summer, higher freight rate as well. So the current um, blockage um, will, will add to that 